Today we are going to talk about sleep paralysis. Okay, to start things off, yes, it has been quite a while since I have sat down in front of my camera and talked to you guys, but to be honest with you guys, I started off trying to make a gaming video of Getting Over It, which is a game that I'll probably explain later. Uh, I also tried making a Try Not To Laugh challenge, and all the videos that I found weren't even that funny, so I guess I beat the Try Not To Laugh challenge, but I came to a decision to make a video about sleep paralysis, something that I have been dealing with for the past couple of months actually which is kind of bad well i don't really consider it bad but if you guys don't know what sleep paralysis is basically is like you're sleeping you're in the middle of like a deep sleep and you're in this uh stage of sleep where i guess you're in a deep sleep and then like you get waking up by something now you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but it's something to where you're sleeping and i don't know you get the sense of evil uh Wow, I'm totally Filipino. You get this sense of evil within the same room as you. And I know it sounds crazy when I say this, but it's like some kind of demon or something. And it's like staring you down or making some creepy faces. And just talking about this makes me kind of scary. And it is 1238, so it's not even that late. Maybe to you it's late, but that's beside the point. Like I said, you get this sense of evil in the room while you're sleeping. And I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with sleep paralysis. And that's when you're sleeping and you wake up well you feel like you're in this trance or a dream and your eyes are open but you can't move you can't scream you can't do nothing and i don't know people can probably gener generalize it with narcolepsy or i don't know like sleep apnea i guess but like i said you're, you're sleeping and your eyes open you feel like i said you feel this sense of, of evil in the room and you can't move you can't scream you can't do nothing and you're just trying to move but you can't move and people also call it the sleeping hag or the sleep hag or something like that today i know that was a big introduction about sleep paralysis you guys can probably look it up on your free time but today i want to share my experiences with you guys and i guess your reaction to my experiences so the first time that happened to me i didn't know what to expect and like it happened uh in my mom's room because I took a nap in her room and it happened it was during the day because I took a nap like I said and I was sleeping and usually I sleep with a pillow on top of my chest just to feel more comfortable and I guess at that time I didn't have a pillow on my chest because there was like one pillow in the room anyway I was sleeping I took a nap and all I remember is waking up and I couldn't move and I saw like flurries around the room and I know it sounds crazy but they were like flurries like you guys watch the TV show Stranger Things <laughs> Uh, maybe I watch too much Stranger Things, but it's like that and there's flurries all around the room of like some look like clouds in the room. I know it sounds stupid and I felt like it felt like something was on my chest and I'm pretty sure everyone has that same um, reaction to when they have sleep paralysis But I'll, I guess a little bit more backstory I know I'm getting sidetracked, but when people have sleep paralysis That's probably because they you know, they don't get enough sleep like sleep deprivation Their schedules really messed up like mine at the moment and my friends but that's a whole another video um there's that then you could also be having nightmares and nightmares are you know generally associated with sleep paralysis um there's also that um alcohol i mean well if you drink you probably get it if you're drunk a lot it's like you're hallucinating in your sleep and to, with me that was like one of the first encounters that i had with it and i got scared i told my mom and everything so i slept in the living room with the tv on for like the next couple weeks and last night it happened that's why like that's what made me um you know bring about the topic it happened last night and i was sleeping in my room in that bed and i don't know it, it's worse because i usually sleep on my side i usually sleep on my side and when i sleep on my side nothing really happens but this time, I slept on my back with the pillow on my chest because like, I just feel more comfortable. And when I went to sleep, I slept in a weird position. Like, my body was laid out like this, which is weird. I don't, I don't know why I slept like that. But I slept, and halfway through the night, it was around 4 o'clock in the morning. Halfway, like, yeah, halfway through my sleep. I, I, I know the feeling of when you get sleep paralysis, or whatever you want to call it. I know what it feels like before you get it. So like it was in the middle of a dream and like I felt my body like uh oh something's happening but, and then I opened my eyes but I try, I try to close them and I can't close them like it's it's a really it's a crazy experience 
and I hate it so much. I guess the only way to like cure it is like taking sleeping medicine or actually going or consulting a doctor about it. L last night, oh my god, like just thinking about it makes me scared. And I know I sound like a complete b but I'm just saying it's really that scary. I was sleeping on my side, like I, I was, I was sleeping on my back, like I said, and then I, I slept on my side, and it kind of I felt better. And then I turned on my other side, which is like on my right shoulder, no, my left shoulder. I'm trying to think. What? Alright, yeah, so I was on I was on my right shoulder and then I was sleeping on my side and it happened again. I, it happens like if it if like, if it does happen to me, it happens like within a, like a time frame of like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And it, it doesn't last that long, but I get scared. Like I I, I literally want to scream, but I can't because it's that I don't know something in your body because you're still sleeping and your body like functions. I don't know. It's hard to explain. You guys can probably look it up. But like, I was on my right shoulder, uh, like sleeping on the side, and I saw like some kind of weird demon. Like oh god, <laughs> I saw like some weird demon like right there on the floor, looking at me, and making some weird faces. And then like as I woke up, I went to see. I went. I went to go back in the living room and go to sleep. And I couldn't even do that because I was scared to like walk through the hallway to the living room. And I know it sounds stupid. But Jesus, it's really that bad. And like, <laughs> I don't know. This is like a <laughs> one of my more like personal uh, videos, and I don't know how it's really related to all the other stuff that I do. But I don't know. I just wanted to talk to talk. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it because I think I think something's actually wrong with me. Because when I sleep, like I I I take sleep for granted. So when I sleep late, stuff like that happens to me, and I don't know. Like you can't speak, you can't move, you can't do nothing. So it's really a scary experience. You're so like you're vulnerable and you feel like you're gonna get attacked. And it's like it's like you ever like sleep and you're you're sleeping and then you're you you sleep yeah you're <laughs> you're sleeping and then like you're half asleep but you're so conscious or whatever. My friend told me this, and then like you can jump. I'm like dude, what the freak just happened? And like as that small little sense of evil or demon was right there looking at you and you feel it jump on you, you wake up and then you start like <sighs> and then you get light sweats and you get cold sweats and then that's when you consult the doctor and then you have AIDS and then boom, your life's fucked up. Um, I know this is a weird video, I talked for a good like what, 20, 30 minutes? Not even that long, but hope you guys enjoyed the little story that I had to tell you guys. I'm not sure if you guys stayed for the whole thing, but if you did, like I said, you guys are awesome. Uh, if you haven't yet, leave a like for the video because it helps me out. And if you want to watch more content, subscribe. It helps out. I don't really ask for that, but I'm starting to get more in the gist of making videos. So please, it helps me out. And if you guys want to see more, you know what to do. So if you guys want to leave me some ideas for videos, uh, please do not hesitate and comment down below so I can see what you guys want to say. And I read the comments because there's like two people who comment on my videos. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you guys in my next video.